channel. Today we're starting off in the car wash, as you can see. Cleaning off the JCX and a touchless wash thing. I wanted to give it a shot. Either way, it's filthy from the last time I went uh, driving in the rain, so I'm gonna give it a good wash. Today we're gonna go to my buddy's shop and we're gonna replace the hood struts, which is one of the things that has been bothering me on this car for a long time. So, without further ado, let's go pick up my girlfriend for lunch. We're going to eat with her and then we'll go to Melvin's shop. We'll see you guys there. So we just got to Melvin's. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the hood. Um, I'll give you guys a little tour of his shop right now, actually, before we do that, before I forget. So this is Melvin's stuff. He's a big Z31 guy. His current project is to get this S13 vert running. He's trying to get it done with a KA. I'll go and show you guys the KA. There's a timeline on this thing by the end of December, which is two weeks away. It currently has, be careful, a VG in it, but the plan is swapped to something else. This one's actually, yeah, caged. Supposed to be a crazy pro car build. Um, yeah, and look, you can see all the, all the stuff is redone. It's painted, full cage. There's my car. That's our buddy Mikey's car. It's a little turbo Miata. This one has a crazy S SR setup. We'll probably go ahead and crank it up later today. And then that's Melvin. He a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> and then this Z is pretty crazy. It's gonna get that K swap over there. And Melvin just sits you in the bay. And then the engine that's going in the vert is this good old trusty KA here. Just NA, came out of an automatic car. It only has one one purpose, is to make that car run outside. Yeah, I, it does make me miss my old S14 SR car. It's just, it's been a while. Yeah, now you need another good like, well I guess you have a good street car though, the J. Yeah, the J, I know. That's, that replaced that yeah, car. Exactly. But man, the sound of an SR, it's kind of, it's kind of like nutty. And it's like light and like, like you know like the jzx is a it's a big car. car yeah yeah but having something light and nimble is, is very cool yeah it is cool jumping between the s14 and the jzx because yeah. the s14 feels like a like a race car yeah but that one just oh it's just so nice like floaty and like floaty and, and yep yep no, that's what Ooh. it's for oh this is s14 wrong door <laughs> that's a different car here's the pink booth Ooh. Yeah. Hey, this nice. Pretty. Yeah. I really like this car. Wow, so it has a stock twin turbos and all that stuff on it. Yeah. Sounds really good though. I bet. Yeah. Is it straight piped? Uh, yeah, but I think it's like factory size piping for now. Gotcha. Yeah, but he wants to do like a nice exhaust on it. Have a little tour. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work on this thing. Do the hood struts on it. It's not hard of a job. I just need a grinder. I don't have any of that stuff where I live now. Uh, there in the back. Let's see. The absolute shenanigans I have to do every time I have to open up this hood and keep it open. What I've been doing for the last three years of owning this car, I've had to keep that tool handy with me. Gotta go get the grinder and cut this piece off. Whoops. I got the grinders and cut this piece off. Good, so I can use this again on the new ones, and then we're good to go. Do the trick. Thank you. If it doesn't start, give it like a bump stop on the table. Like with rotation, kind of. Like. Let me, I gotcha. <laughs> uh huh. Fancy. We got it. So it's no damage. All right, so here's the little piece that we got. That bad boy right there. Oh, uh, we gotta chop it off as you obviously saw. Now this piece goes in here. Uh, this one won't be that bad because there's some, um, the retaining clip is here. I'll just pop it off and put it back in. Maybe I can just stuff it in. We'll see. Um, it has grease inside already and it should be good to go. Just gonna put it up at the top. Actually, first I'm gonna put it in this side. Then I'll screw it in here, then I'll plug it in back up to the top. So 
And just like that, we're all done. That one's installed. You have, you have to go until these things, you hear a click. That means this thing like locked into place. Let me see if I can focus it. There you go. Until this piece right here clicks in, um, my, the other side wasn't clicking. So I had to pretty much bring the hood almost level to my face. And then uh, it, then it went, it went in. And now that one's good, that one's good. And now this feels like a brand new car now. Or I can just close the hood and then pick it up with like no effort and then it stays up. Oh, yeah, it feels like a brand new car. It feels weird not having to put the little clamp thing here anymore. So, yeah, that's done. Now we wait for Melvin to finish doing his stuff. We're gonna try and push that car in today. We'll hear the red car go vroom vroom and off we go. Whoa! Oh my. Look at that fan track, dude. That is a chunky boy. Makes wow. Space yeah. yeah, I'll take a photo of this and send it to Jeff. Look at that thing. Oh my god. That thing's huge. YouTube, a million views of two idiots playing. <laughs> we, we, Us <laughs> acting like we're gonna fucking swap them out. Yeah. Pulling one that's not too bad. Obviously, though. Yeah. Yeah. Gets the angle of my back swing, too, bro. <laughs> hell yeah. I can look back at this and be like, hell yeah. Man. I really need to work on this. Alright, Mateo, will you keep jacking that up? I'm gonna go for the car. Alright. Keep jacking it up? Yep. Alright, I'm keep going. Okay, uh, I got enough room now. I gotta get down there and get the trans bolt. All right. And then, yeah. Johnny, and then I'll twist it out. I gotta say, man, this thing's got good bones. It's Everything clean as hell. It, it's like, it's clean. Not like something you would see and be like, ooh, that's super nice. But like as far as like structural. It was never slammed. It was it was molded kit. Like somebody spent money. It was molded body kit and everything. Yeah. There was no pan on this thing. Eight minutes, six minutes. Yeah, that does help a lot. Now we put the KA in here, and then Mikey will. He's oh, yeah, I'm par not for par now. Now, <laughs> we'll get under par eventually. So that's my goal. Oh, whoa, whoa, there now. Yeah, this thing's got some speed. Whoa, there now. Not, not much longer. Not much longer. Yeah. There you go. We just had to adjust the chain and now it's in there. This part of 485 sucks. It's just bouncing for like five minutes. It's just like this the entire time. Like I'm trying to keep my hand still, but no, what you see bouncing is like what's happening. And we, yeah, we just drive. Just driving. Just driving. All right, it's, it smoothed out. It was really bad before.